Singapore may have to draw on its past reserves again should the COVID-19 crisis get worse. But Deputy Prime Minister Hing Sui Kiet assured MPs and Singaporeans these funds won't run dry because the government will continue to spend wisely and sustainably. And that's especially as the pandemic may last for a long time. All our depositors money Singapore's three budgets this year could draw up to $21 billion from past reserves. But how deep the coffers are will remain a secret for good reason, according to Mr. Hing. He was responding to opposition chief Pritam Singh, who Mr. Hing said had asked about the reserves time and again. Our reserves are no different from SAS arsenal. No country's armed forces will ever tell you exactly how much ammunition and weaponry they really have. To do so is to betray valuable intelligence to potential adversaries. This is obviously not a wise defence strategy and likewise should not be adopted for our financial reserves. What members should focus on are the policies and programmes, especially those which may require the use of reserves. But let's be clear, it is neither in the interest of Singapore or Singaporeans to repeatedly ask about the size of our reserves. Mr. Pritam Singh had also asked earlier if the government could provide continued support even after the pandemic subsides, drawing a comparison with the New Deal in the U.S. To this, Mr. Hing said the government would do what's right for Singapore with rigorous and clear-headed policies. The New Deal was, intent, was meant to bring the United States out of the Great Depression. Its ideas have now polarized American society. We still see the schism today between liberals who support it for its comprehensive relief and reform program and conservatives who oppose it for being hostile to business and growth. For our little red dots, we must have the courage and wisdom to do what is right for us and not rely on simple ideology of fair and fashion of the day. Focus on our people's well-being and design systems and support around that core purpose. For this government, it has never been a question of whether we want to spend. Rather, it is a question of how do we make the best use of resources to achieve the best outcome for our people. Mr. Heng also said for years the government hasn't bowed to political pressure to spend more on reserves or to scrimp on savings. We do not view the reserves as a piggy bank to be broken at will to provide the government with a convenient source of additional revenue. We avoided running deficits in good years and consistently saved. If we had succumbed to the political pressure to spend more of our reserves in good years, we would not have had the war chest to deal with critical moments such as now. And to do even more, if necessary, even in the next term of government. Mr. Heng also warned that the fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic may be around for a while and the government may need to dip into past reserves again. But he says this crisis has affirmed the value of its prudent fiscal policy. The finance minister also said the country's financial strength has given it other advantages. For example, the government's been able to focus on tackling the pandemic without the need to negotiate with creditors and detractors. Mr. Hing also said he's heartened to see that fellow Singaporeans and MPs understand the value and commitment to Singapore's future, urging the government to not spend the reserves in an uncontrolled manner. To that, he gave his assurance. Indeed, as we draw down on our reserves to tackle the generational crisis of unprecedented scale, we must uphold our responsibility to steward our reserves properly in our time for the benefits of our future generations. Will Singapore become bankrupt? No, we will never let Singapore become bankrupt.